Katie. And to anyone else who's clicking on this video, my subscribers, um, this is a video from me to Katie. You're welcome to watch. You're welcome to comment. Please be respectful because this is something I want her to hear. So, dear Katie, I am one of the channels that makes videos about you and I don't know that you watch videos about yourself. I have my belief that maybe you do, but typically maybe you don't. I don't I don't know. But I, I truly from my heart hope that you see this one and hope that you will be open minded and just hear what I have to say because I'm not here to hate you or cause harm to you in any way, okay? I used to watch your channel. I used to, I mean, it was for a short amount of time. I kind of got interested in some of the things you were saying. <clears throat> and then there were some things that made me stop watching. Um, mostly how you kind of acted out on your subscribers is what I didn't agree with personally. Since then, I've, I've gone on and made videos covering things you've done and, and talking about your actions. But every video, I always say I wish you would listen. So I decided that today I wanted to talk to you in a video where I'm not criticizing you. I'm not going over what you did recently. It's just a message from me to you. I spoke about this last night in another video, but again, that, that video was talking about things you had done lately, and I didn't feel that you would be open to getting to that part, because it was at the end of the video, and I don't expect you to listen to all that. I understand that a lot of this is probably really difficult for you, um, being in a lawsuit, uh, feeling under attack, and you know, having these videos, even if none of that was going on, like just having videos made about you, I can understand not wanting to sit there and listen to it all. I get that. And I will tell you that I believe wholeheartedly that there are people and channels and accounts and whatever that do come to attack you just to, just to pile on, just to be there for the shit. So I agree with you on that. And I can most certainly understand why you wouldn't be as open to listening to people like me. But, I can promise you that, and you don't know me, and you don't have to believe me, but I promise I want to see what's best for you and your family. I don't want to see you fail. And I do believe that m the majority of people that do reach out to you feel the same way that I do. But I'm not, I'm not speaking for anyone else. I'm speaking for myself. That's just what I've seen and how I feel about it. Here's, here's why I wanted to reach, reach out to you personally. Because I've seen so many people try, because I've tried, and because I understand why you wouldn't listen or want to, to hear people out. But this is a really serious issue. And at the end of the day, none of us are going to matter to you. And I want to explain that. When this is all said and done, when the lawsuit is over, there is a huge chance, and you may not believe that it's a possibility, but just for the purpose of, of trying to see where I'm coming from, let's say the end of the lawsuit, they do take your channel. They deplatform you. If that happens, it's all going to come down to you, your family, in your home and y'all's future okay in one day when they take you off this platform everybody's gone all the people making videos all the people commenting all the bullshit the drama the everything it's all gone and you are left with your husband your son and y'all's future and you know you let me say this I don't want a response from you. I don't, I'm not looking for anything out of you other than I just want you to hear me out and, and take these things into consideration. It's, it's expensive 
to be in a lawsuit, okay? That's already going to be enough on you and your family, and that will cause stress. I understand that this is very, very stressful, and all of the other shit is going to make it worse, okay? So you're going to have that sh the stress of going through it, and you're going to have the financial strain that it's going to put on you and your husband. And that's going to kind of affect your y'all's life and how you feel and your child's life. Because children can sense when something is wrong. Whether you're, you know, y'all are good at hiding it. I'm sure you don't just go talk about it in front of them. I, you know, I, I'm not saying you would do that. I'm saying that kids can understand and sense when there are issues and there's stress. And this is a stressful thing. And as far as, like, calling people out and talking about the the case and, you know, going after the lawyers and other YouTubers and all of that stuff, here's why people get upset. And, and this is, for me, why I don't understand what you do. It only makes it worse on you and your family at the end of the day. You have said that YouTube, you know, other YouTubers are like your co-workers. And what I want to say to that is you would not go into work and mess with your co-workers and call them out. And it wouldn't create a very good work environment. And what you're doing by calling everyone out and, and saying this person did that and this person did this and... Even if that's true, even if everything you say about all of these people and what they have said or done to you is true, bringing it all up and putting it out there isn't helping you and your family in the end. It's only going to add more stress, more drama, more bullshit. It's not helping you. And that sucks. It Going after the lawyers, that's not going to help you in your case because... One, you shouldn't be talking about the case, like, at all. Even if things are being handled in a wrong way, like, even if that's true, it doesn't help you to talk about it. You should not talk about it, okay? Like, any of it. Not on Twitter, not on YouTube, none of it. Because it doesn't help you. It's only going to make it worse on you. And there are penalties in court. There are things like that that can come down for you to pay, and that's not helping you. Threatening to sue another lawyer or another YouTuber isn't going to help you. It's not going to help your family. If you are willing to listen, I do want to try to give you some advice, and it's coming from the heart. I'm a single mom. I have a 10-year-old, about to be 11-year-old daughter. Everything I do, I have to think about her first, no matter what that is. If I, believe me, I have people at work that I, I struggle with getting along with, okay? But I can't go into work and go off on them and call them out on being an asshole because then I will lose my job. And that affects my child. I have to have money to care for her. You know, everything in my life, I have to think about what it does to her and to my family. How does that affect us? So for you, and I'm sure your husband is extremely supportive. I'm sure he's telling you, you know, you're doing the right thing. But both of you need to, to really get, give it time. Here, Here's what my advice would be. Because I understand you're not just going to see my video and automatically listen to me and be like, oh, she's right. Like, I don't expect that. Take a break. And I don't mean get off of YouTube. I mean, take a step back. Take a real break from talking about the lawsuit, anything that's said about you, any comments, videos made, any of it. Just take a break from that. Don't talk about other YouTubers. Don't let any of that drama get stirred up. Just, just give it a week or two of only doing your content that you do on your channel. And... Take that time to see, like, does does this all matter in the long run? Like, is this helping me and my family? 
is it less stressful when you take that break? You know, do you feel better? Does your family feel better? Take the time. You know, I'm not asking you to stop doing your job. Like, you need your job. I understand that. But put your videos out. Get offline. And just get your stress out in other ways. If you feel like it's getting overwhelming, find a way to deal with that. Type it all out and then delete it. Make a video and don't post it. There are other ways of handling this. But get all of your stress out. Spend time with your family. Spend time doing things you enjoy. Like something that, if it's just putting on makeup or going for a walk or whatever. If you get stressed out, put it all in, into something that you can just not post and get rid of. And then go do something you enjoy. And just for a week or two. See if this improves your yourself, your happiness, your life, and if it improves your family's life, does it make things better? And if I'm wrong, you know, okay, do, I mean, no matter what, you're going to do what you want to do. I'm not here to tell you what you should and shouldn't do. I'm just trying to reach out and give advice for real. I'm not a hater. I, I don't want to see anything happen to you or your family. I don't want to see you thrown off the platform. It's just, I think everyone who, I'm not going to say everyone, I think a lot of people that, that talk about you and that try to cover what you do does feel this way. And, you know, I just, I just want you to hear me. Like, I really do. No matter what you think about this I, I want you to hear it and I want you to hear it from a point of view of not me criticizing you or not me telling you to shut the fuck up or this or that like just human to human mom to mom I'm not a wife anymore I'm a widow but I've been a wife so wife to wife like I don't want to see you continue to do these things that can hurt you and your family because again, and I'm not saying they will, but if they deplatform me, again, in one day, none of this will matter. Nothing anyone ever said about you on YouTube will matter. Nothing that you've called people out for will matter. You know, you don't have to prove people right or wrong anymore. It's, it's gone. And you only have your family left. And then again, you know, there goes your job. And as far as I understand, this is also your husband's job. He works with you for your channel. So with you having a kid, first of all, kids are expensive enough. Just having a kid is super expensive. But having a kid that has the needs that your child has I can only imagine is so much more expensive. That's what you need to focus on and protect. You're a mom and a wife. It is your job and your responsibility to protect your family, whether that's from other people or financially. Your actions do come back to them. And I think that Again, even if your husband is supporting all this, maybe both of you should start to take the time, think about it. Is this what you should do to protect your family and y'all's future? It's not just like, oh, you could end up in debt. This is your your future, your child's future. And people do... Hold on just a second. Sorry, I had an interruption. I... Look, it's, it's just that this is your career. This is y'all's future as a family. And when all of this is said and done, what you have is your husband, your son, your home. That's it. That's what you should focus on. In my opinion, that is my advice to you. You don't have to take it. You don't. You don't need to respond to this. This isn't something to... I'm, I'm not trying to prove you wrong in any way. I'm not trying to argue with you. This is simply a... Please 
listen, try to, to try to hear some people out. Because I, honest to God, I feel like if you would take that break from talking about, like I said, anything and everything, whether it's legal shit or YouTube drama, if you would take a break and do things to better yourself and make yourself feel better, I feel like it would reflect onto your channel as you go along. And people are going to say, oh my gosh, you know, she's, she's doing better. You know, like, if you really want to keep your career going and keep the channel going, like, I feel like this is a great way to go about it. And again, if, if you try the break and you don't think it works, and at least you tried. What have you lost by trying? I just, I hope that you'll hear me out. I hope that you'll listen. I, I hope that you'll take the advice. You can come back from this. It doesn't have to be you constantly feeling attacked and having to defend yourself. It doesn't have to be you constantly attacking other people. It can be as simple as, I'm no longer going to talk about this. I'm going to do what I believe is best for my family and my situation. I'm going to continue to put out my content, my stuff only, and see where that takes you. Watch the growth that you can have and it's not going to be immediate but I believe it will happen I wholeheartedly believe that this is possible for you and I'm not going to lie to you I'm not here to bullshit you yes I'm going to continue to make videos about you but I can guarantee you and you can show this to the world if you want if you start to make improvements if if there is no more on Twitter there is no more nastiness on YouTube and you just go back to straight up making your videos and you know doing what's best for you and your family I will make videos about that I will say look she she is listening she does care about everybody and it's not just like do you care about your family your subscribers too like the people who genuinely want to see your other content they don't want all this other stuff so if you're making improvements for them, I will most certainly report on that. I will most definitely get in a video and say, look, she's showing love to these subscribers. She's showing them she's going to do better. She's doing what's right for her family. And I believe a lot of other people would be willing to do the same. I can't say for sure, but I will for sure tell you that I will do that. I just want to see you do better. I know that there are a lot of people out here that want to see you fail. That is true. There are people that can't wait for you to tweet something out, make another video, say something else. Because they want to see shit happen. They want to see you drove off, driven off the platform. And that's not what I want. And I think there are a lot of other people who do care about you. And if nothing else, your, your subscribers care about you. Your family cares about you. So just be willing to give it a, a chance um, to think about it, to try it. Take this little bit of advice. And again, if it doesn't work, fine. But please be willing to hear us out, hear you know, myself and other people, and try. That's, that's really it. Um, like I said, I just... I wanted to make a video straight to you, no criticism, no, but you did this and you said that, like, just straight up, person to person. I would love to see you do better. I would love to see you come out of this in the best way possible, and I would love to see this not have a negative impact on your family. So, yes, things have been done and said, and there will be... You know consequences to that but you don't have to make it any worse you can turn this around with that said I, I will be watching and I will make videos about whatever you do so if it's good if you make changes I promise you I will make videos about the good just as much as I have about everything else that's it. I, I really do 
wish you the best and I hope that this will somehow somehow you'll listen to it all right have a good day Katie